Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from israautomation.com and welcome to my all new course on automation framework development with Appium using C# Sharp for Android and iOS operating system. And in this 9 hours of course, we are going to take a long journey to understand a lot of details on mobile automation testing with Appium using Xamarin, Ionic and React Native applications for both iOS and Android operating systems in both Windows and Mac operating systems. What's so special about this course while there are so many different courses on Appium available already on the internet? The answer is very very simple. This is the first ever course on the internet which talks about Appium with C# -sharp language binding for Ionic, Xamarin and React Native app automation for both Windows and in Mac operating system. And who are the intended audience for this course? This course is for devs and QA and of course for anyone who are really interested to learn something new in the automation testing field mainly in the mobile automation testing field so how is this course designed well this course is designed by carefully picking up some of the most important topics required for appium automation in c# -sharp world to automate native and hybrid applications for android and ios in both mac and windows ecosystems the course has evolved for more than 6 plus years of my working and giving training on various different automation testing tools like xamarin.uitest, robotium, cylindroid, calabash and of course in appium i have many different courses like basic courses and series available in youtube you can go ahead and watch there and finally this is the advanced series which has evolved from all those trainings and as usual the course will never ever deviate from its actual topic and talks only about appium so what does that really mean so we will not deviate our course by talking c sharps basic programming language something like what is class methods and variables and things of that nature we'll straightly jump into c sharp programming language we'll start installing the packages in visual studio and then we'll start writing the code but we'll talk a lot of detail about appium spec flow and all those stuff and we're not going to talk about a very basic of selenium and appium like like how you can use the xpath or css selector or link text and something like that those are very very basic so we'll not talk about that rather in the advanced series we expect a person should have at least a basic understanding of how the elements are rendered in the application and how the css and xpath and link text are actually identified in selenium identification world and we'll not talk about the great feature which visual studio has got because that's not the scope of this course and we'll not be talking about specflow a lot for the bdd basics because bdd is completely out of the scope of this course but we are going to be incorporating the behavioral driven development scenarios in this course because that's the future and that's where a lot of companies are moving towards and having good knowledge on bdd and working with specflow in this course will be a greater plus but we will be writing the scenarios completely from the ground up so you will see how I am writing the code and how I am actually using those libraries and in fact the breaking changes which is going to happen in specflow in the later part of the course how I am actually using those things are all going to be there within this course but just that will not tell the most basic details of specflow and interestingly this course has got reincarnated from year 2018 release in 2020 again so this course was actually released in year 2018 as season 1 and season 2 whereas in season 1 I introduced this introduction to Appium, automating hybrid ionic applications, refactoring code, page update model, automating native iOS application Mac and summary of season 1. In season 2 I started releasing the videos on introduction to framework design overview, BDD and Appium extension implementation custom config development and refactoring of the complete code to the framework and the test layer. So this is what happened in 2018 and you can see that in 2018 the project actually was looking something like this and something like this in season 2 and later in 2020 the code was started to migrate all the way from the full framework of Microsoft.NET to the .NET Core 3.1 framework with many code changes. So there happened so many different code changes in this particular course and why is this really happened is because there were so many library changes happen in this span of time from 2018 to 2020. While in 2018 I released this course initially during January the code we used were 
with Appium 4.0, which was in beta version. And there were so many breaking changes from version three to four. And I had to actually put all those details on this particular course. And then you can see that the spec flow were actually, we were using it was 2.3.1 and the end unit was in 3.9 and things. But later today in 2020, the course has to go through so many different changes because in November 2019, Appium had a lot of breaking changes and they released 4.1.1 with the latest version of Selenium. And with that, the library became something like this and we have to cover all these details. And that's why we had to change every single packages. And not only that, there were a lot of other breaking changes happened in Appium as well as in the Selenium world because Appium is using Selenium library in turn. So Selenium C Sharp no longer supports page of the model. So we have to assist that. But this course in 2018, we actually discussed about it. And then Selenium C Sharp never recommends desired capabilities and expected conditions because those are obsolete. And Specflow has many breaking changes and we have to accommodate that. And even the Ionic application that we used in the season one and season two of this application has gone through a lot of breaking changes. And in fact, the whole .NET framework is now transforming towards .NET Core 3.1. So we have to accommodate all those changes within this course so that one can actually learn the new changes and keep their framework up to date. So this course was actually like a reincarnation from the season one and season two from 2018 to 2020 with all those changes. Well, in this course, we have discussed almost all the changes which one really need to run their code in Mac and Windows operating system using a complete latest up-to-date code from Appium. So whatever changes gonna come in future days are gonna be there within this particular course without any doubt. So once again, thank you very much for purchasing this course and I hope you'll really enjoy learning this course. Thank you.